the world's first gene-edited babies were born. The Chinese scientists who claimed to help make it happen spoke at an international conference in Hong Kong on Wednesday. For this specific case, I feel, it's a, I feel proud, actually. However, scientists and bioethics experts are shocked and alarmed. Mainstream scientists around the world say the experiment should never have been attempted. Well, we know that technology is very powerful. It's basically a, a molecular scissors. We can cut DNA and make changes, but the, the, it's unclear how precise that cutting is. And so the worry is that you'd cut in places you don't want to cut, inactivating genes that are very important, or maybe changing the expression of genes that could predispose to other problems like cancer. There's certainly more acceptance of the use for alleviating disease, alleviating suffering. But what about just disease risks? And what about traits that we might call enhancements? Should this be a technology that we use to affect a child's ultimate height, their skin color, maybe their various other traits? That on which uh, are the basis of much of our discussions. More than 100 scientists signed a petition calling for greater oversight on gene editing experiments. The claim has not been independently confirmed nor peer-reviewed. The scientists' work was also criticized for lack of transparency. Being transparent does a few things. First off, it shows that the institution is committed to making sure that the activities of the faculty are clearly visible to the public. It's a matter of public trust.